What's up, everybody? Um, I had an interesting conversation today on Twitter uh, with uh, a great group of guys called Dialab. And we were speaking about the ease of use and usability and syncing up with uh, all your external gear, whether it be effects or instruments or whatever, and utilizing them inside Ableton Live. So I thought I would make a quick video for those who don't know how to, or maybe just a refresher of how to actually utilize your external gear, again, whether it be effects or instrument, inside of Ableton. So <clears throat> what I did so far, just to kind of cut out on time, is I just kind of did a real quick of a drum loop, uh, just a random loop that I have in here and uh, I'll just play it real quick we'll kind of let you hear it and see you know give you an idea of what it sounds like and then we'll kind of go through some other things so as you can see it's kind of very low end heavy uh, but very basic just a basic old drum loop so what we'll do here is I have two outboard effects uh, currently hooked up um, We'll show you here underneath. Uh, I'm using a, a Motu A28 MK3 FireWire interface for all my instruments and everything. Uh, right now, I don't have everything hooked up, but um, as you can see here under all the names, I have uh, my Roland JP8000, which I use as you know as a keyboard, but I also use it as a controller. Um, and then uh, also on the front uh, is this microphone. Uh, right now, I'm just it's just some crappy. Uh, you know, Radio Shack microphone, but uh, you, usually I'm using my Rode NT1. Uh, and these are the two inputs on the front of the Motu. Uh, on the back, you have all these other analogs, uh, you know, which don't make any difference here, but uh, I just wanted to show you that on uh, my inputs and outputs of uh, 5 and 6 are my Sonic Maximizer uh, rack mount, which is really good, uh, kind of cleans up some things. It's actually got noise reduction on it as well, uh, so that's really good for uh, inputting anything uh, before uh, setting it up, you know, to record. Uh, and then I also have on 7 and 8, I have my Boss SE70, um, which is uh, just a fantastic box uh, that's uh, a little older, but uh, has some amazing reverbs, some good delays. Uh, you just got to kind of get your head around it to program it and get it to do what you want, but um, it's not that difficult. However, it is uh, time consuming and getting things set up in the inside there, but once you do, it's it's amazing. So, uh, so as you can see here, I have these two different effects. So let's go ahead and use them inside here on this drum loop, and uh, we'll kind of give you a pre and post, if you will, you know, and uh, get you get you on your way. So what you're immediately going to do is up on here on the left hand side, you're going to go into Live Devices, and right now we're going to work on this uh, audio track. I also have a MIDI track that I'm going to set up as well, um, but we'll talk about the audio first. So you're going to come over here and you're going to use the audio effect and then you're going to use external audio effect. So we're going to drag and just drop that down here. And then I, again, like I said, uh, on uh, my BBE, so I'm 5 and 6, so we'll go over that first and then I'll go over the bossy 70. So. Uh, again, we'll just go over to 5 and 6, and then uh, we're just going to hit play. Now, as you can see, you can kind of change the gain, and that's just, again, that's just, just the drum itself. Now, if I turn on the BBE... So, now again, just in whatever effect you have, output effect, you would just simply plug it into whatever your output is on your mixer or uh, whatever interface you're using, and then ultimately just adjust the gain and you're good to go. So, um, 
so as you can see, uh, you know, it's it's pretty it's pretty easy to add your own you know external effect. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll uh, real quickly. I'll do my uh, Boss SC70, so you can hear that as well. So. gives you the idea of uh, how easy it is to use a, an external effect. So if you've got any sort of rack mount or external, whether it be a guitar pedal or anything like that, uh, it's as simple as that as, as getting uh, getting your external effects working w inside Ableton. It's I mean, it's it's literally that easy of just dragging and dropping this, this external audio effect. Super easy. Uh, so what we'll do now is the, uh, the actual uh, external instrument, which is awesome. Uh, and that's how we get to use uh, MIDI and using uh, the actual audio from whatever keyboard you have, uh, you know, whether it be a Korg or a Roland or whatever it might be. So I already pre-programmed uh, these quick notes in here. Uh, so, you know, just F3, just a, basically an arpeggiator, if you will. Um, but what you can do is if you drag and drop this external instrument, on top of the MIDI track, I'm going to set the output to, my, to that. Let's see here. Uh, and then just go ahead and with my audio input. So when I hit play, it's going to play whatever patch I have on my keyboard. <laughs> So you have this, and then I essentially can go through each and every single one of my patches on my keyboard. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as just dragging and dropping these external instruments and external effects onto your tracks to easily sync up all of your outboard gear. Now, obviously, this all depends on what kind of interface or mixture you're using. Uh, however, you know, most of the interfaces that I've seen so far, you know, are 4x4 or 8x8 or whatever it might be. So, uh, depending on whatever mixture or whatever in interface you're using, you can plug in as much as you want and just drag and drop it right on here. Um, you can even, you know, mess with the hardware latency if you want. Uh, that's, again, dependent on what you're actually using. So, um, but I have yet to even have to touch the latency on this. I've had nothing but success using uh, the Motu and then with my external gear. So, uh, so there you go. That's, there you have it. It's, it's as simple as that. Just drag and drop. All right, guys. Take care.